if they cut him, they don't owe him anything, right? No, non-guaranteed. Garoppolo. That yeah, Garoppolo. I'm talking about. Like, I don't know why you keep him around. It's going to end up like I know how the story ends. He's going to come off the bench and help them win a game. And but if you believe that, you don't treat him the way they treated him this off season. Well, if I you think believe I that. think both sides expected the circumstances to be a lot different by the end of August than they were, and so then you revisit it. And all of a sudden, yeah, him as on. a six point five hang, million hang dollar backup looks a lot better for both sides. But you know that by July thirty first, when you start camp, I, I think you think that somebody gets hurt somewhere. But, I do, but he's at least like you're not playing him in the preseason. So how how are you going to show another team that the guy's healthy? If you're if you're hiding him, he's throwing on another field. Joint practices going on against the Vikings. He's not on the practice field. No one, media's not observing him. So like, yeah, it was strange. I'm it, not, not going to pretend it wasn't. Because like, I, I do agree, Paul. Like you said yesterday, he's there. There will be a role for him, and he's much better. Uh, he's a much better backup than what they had. But if you, it's in, one of the best my, backups in the league. In my line of thinking, like if you if that's the case, and you're going into camp, and you're the 49ers. I don't know why you excommunicate him from meetings and do all that. Like, it was just a, it's like a handshake agreement that we're going to move you or you were going to cut you just, you know, you're here so you don't get fined. Right. Like that's, that's how it was. And it ends up being a, it just feels very, it feels like a marriage, like an arranged marriage where both teams, uh, both sides of this are like, yeah, we, we agree to this because this is all we have. Right. Well, we don't have a better solution. You don't have a better solution. So let's do it. And the no trade clause too is interesting because now you, even though he only, <laughs> he's only making six million, he controls the whole trade process. This is Deshaun Watson minus the baggage. <laughs> 